Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. Today's video, I'll be trying out the 70s Farrah Fawcett craze on TikTok using this synthetic wig that I picked up from the Janet collection. The name of this wig is Tamila. The color is 1B and this is from their Natural Me collection. This is a blowout textured wig with HD lace. So the wig does come with a left side part, but you can rearrange it or reposition it if you want a middle part. This wig comes with three combs and an adjustable strap. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is cut off the extra lace. All right, so now I'm just gonna place the wig on my head. I am gonna show you how it looks as a left side part, which I am obsessing over right now. However, the vision that I had in my head for this particular wig and the style that I'm going for, a center part would be better. All right, so I'm just going to grab a powder foundation and a flat brush, and I'm gonna further define that part. Next, I'm just gonna grab a brush and brush through these curls. I did not realize how beautiful this wig was. I bought it initially because I loved the fullness of it and I loved the curl pattern of it. I felt like it would give me the perfect foundation or base for the 70s flips that I am going for today. However, once I tried this on my head and I combed through the curls, I fell in love with this wig. I'll definitely be picking up another one because I am just obsessed with how natural it looks. I am obsessed with the overall density of this wig. I think it's so, so, so cute. And you should definitely get your hands on it. So now I'm just gonna separate the section of hair that I want to frame my face. And these are gonna be the deepest layers on this wig. So I'm just gonna go to where the parting space ends and use my finger to go down to where my ear is. That's gonna separate the section and I'm just gonna brush through the section of hair and then I'm just going to grab my razor comb and begin razoring or feather cutting that hair and my razor comb does definitely need to be changed I need to update the blade so I'm going to do the best that I can for the first initial cuts and then I'm going to go in with a razor comb and further define those layers I am doing really 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 deep defined layers because you can't do 70s without those really 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 deep defined layers I know nowadays people call it curtain bangs but I'm obsessed with it I love it with the deep layers and I also love it straight out of the package but on my face shape I think that the deep layers complements my bone structure and face shape a lot better so let's chat in the comment section. Do you prefer this wig with deep layers or do you prefer how it looks straight out of the package? Let's chat below in the comment section.
All right, so now I'm just gonna melt the lace and keep the wig on my head by using the Gatsby Free Spray. I'm gonna spray that on the lace, put my headscarf on for about 15 minutes to allow it to set. Because the 70s were about feathered layers as well as flips, I'm gonna use my curling irons to try to flip this hair. Unfortunately, although it says that the hair can be curled on the packaging, I tried to follow the instructions and it's on the proper heat setting. However, as soon as I put my curling iron on this section of hair, it did straighten it instead of curling it. So unfortunate, but I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna try other curling methods to try to get this hair to flip. Unfortunately, that part didn't. <laughs> That part never recurled, so we just wanna ignore that part. Taking my headscarf off, it's time to basically just try to figure out how we're going to flip this hair out of my face. So on the TikTok tutorial, I saw people flipping their head upside down and moving the wig back and forth. I tried that, but because this wig is already so full in density, I did not have to do this. It made it look like it was like 500% density and that is not the Shaka Khan look, honey, is not what I was going for. So I decided <laughs> just to not do that and just comb the hair again because I feel like it looks much better as it is. The hair is already pretty full. You do not have to do that step. All right, so my attempt at curling this wig with a curling iron was an absolute fail. Because of that, I'm going to try to use this method of round brush and blow dry to see if it does flip the hair that way. Let's give it a try. Here is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below as well as subscribe so that I know you stopped by. I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Let's chat down below in the comment section about this hairstyle. Would you wear this style today in 2021? How do you feel about these deep layers? Do you prefer this wig straight out of the package or would you prefer it to be layered like this? I can't decide which one, but I am obsessed with this wig in general. I can't wait to try this hairstyle on a virgin human hair wig that is kinky straight in this texture and density. I'm so excited about getting my hands on one of those and HD lace, of course. I'll have all of the information down below in the description box if you're interested in purchasing this wig and I can't wait to see you all in my next one. Bye guys! It's Bezos, I, yeah that's right, it's Bezos, I, 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 I.